Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has rolled out the early stable update of our next stable version upgrade, version 133, which they pushed out on the 29th, which was late yesterday in my part of the world. Now the early stable is rolled out to a limited subset of users a week or so before Google makes the update available to the general public. So early stable rolled out yesterday on the 29th. So if we head to our calendar, I would suggest that the 4th, 5th is when version 133 will become generally available. And we are expecting quite a big browser update week next week. Just on a side note, we are expecting Chrome, Brave, Edge, and Firefox are all going to be rolling out um, throughout the course of next week. So quite a lot going on in the browser world with those version upgrades. Now getting back to early stable 133 of Google Chrome. Now like most I haven't received the update but when it does make its way to the general public the update will push the version and build to 133.0.6943.35 and obviously we will, we will get our weekly Chromium security fixes that will roll out with that update. And just to have a quick look at to what I think we could expect to see in version 133 because obviously this hasn't been confirmed and is subject to change. But something I did post on a couple of days ago is that there is a new energy saving feature called freezing that's going to be rolling out at first to a limited subset of users with version 133. Now just a quick recap because I posted a whole video on that feature and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen because it'll give you all the in-depth information you would need. But Energy Saver conserves battery power by limiting background activity. So when this is on, basically um, it's going to start freezing eligible CPU intensive background tabs which will be frozen with Energy Saver mode when it's active. And what this does is it aims to reduce battery consumption and improve battery life. So go check that video out, but that's going to start rolling out with Google Chrome 133 because currently it's on an origin trial. So what this means basically, an origin trial is the feature initially will roll out to a small percentage of users and its availability can be controlled via policy. But um, obviously that's the first stage of pushing this out into the stable version. So I think that would be the key highlight to some extent or the other. Now, Something I mentioned with Chrome version 132, which is the current stable release, was the read aloud feature in reading mode, which I thought was going to roll out with 132. But we have more confirmation now. If we head over to Canary, reading mode obviously um, is found in the site panel. And he has read aloud. And I did mention that previously. And basically what it does is... Um, it helps you to listen to a web page and um, it repeats the text verbally for you, which is a nice handy accessibility feature as well. It has more or less been confirmed now that that read aloud will roll out with Chrome version 134, which is the next stable release after 133. So I just wanted to kind of clear that up because I did mention that previously and didn't want to keep that hanging. And then over and above that, guys, there are performance improvements taking place under the hood where 133 will include stability and performance enhancements according to the Chrome platform status. And something else we might also start seeing because the flag is available in the current stable version of version 132. If we head back to Canary, is the new combo button. We possibly could start seeing references to this. That's not confirmed, but we could start seeing references to that. And I'll leave a video for the combo button and how you can actually enable it in the stable version. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen because it looks like this eventually will come to stable. And as mentioned, the flag is available. So there is also a chance that this may start seeing the light of day in version 133. But as mentioned, guys, that's basically a guesstimate on my part I'm just doing a bit of research, looking at the Chrome platform status, a couple of things I thought you may be interested in, but there's a lot going on under the hood for developers and stuff, which won't be of really much interest to your average home user. So just letting you know, early stable 133 is now available and version 133 will roll out to the general public starting next week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.